Okay, how you doing guys? Uh, today I'm going to be installing the um, the uh, Intermatic uh, AG Series uh, AG3000 uh, surge protector um, on my AC compressor. Um, I actually uh, I'm getting uh, pretty serious about protecting my stuff. Um, so I'm going to do a quick instructional on how to do this. Now keep in mind this is high voltage and um, you really need to be cautious about this. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, um, I recommend that you call an electrician and um, that you go from there. Now, uh, this particular one, uh, you can use this in you can use it in many many different things in compressors, uh, furnaces, pumps, and even motors. So, I mean, you could actually um, see it right there. Let me see uh, right here. Tells you tells you what you can use it on. Um, anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is because um, I'm short in time today, I'm going to do this um, uh, quickly so uh, you guys get to see how to do it. Now, this right here, it's um, my AC compressor panel. It's very small. Uh, it's right next to the main panel, panel that I got um, right here. And actually, you could see my other uh, surge suppressor there, which is working great, by the way. Um, Anyway, I'm going to uh, show you, and you've probably seen one of these next to your house, uh, if you own one, he has a, um, I don't know if you can see it there because the sun is so bright today, um, but he's got this, part, this bar right here that you actually pull out, it doesn't have an actual breaker, um, there you go, you just have to pull it, um, and uh, it'll come right out, this particular one, it's got this plastic tab and it exposes the wires you don't need any special tooling or anything um, but as you can see you have the um, the these two right here actually go to the compressor now this black one and that white one there are the uh, ones coming in now if you measure across them like I did with a voltmeter you'll get 249 volts um, this is a single phase um, AC compressor, it's a single phase surge protector. You want to be sure that you're getting the right one for your application. Uh, there's single phase, uh, there's a dual phase, you know, you want to be able to, uh, to find out beforehand before you buy this stuff. I paid $50 um, for this one, um, $50, $55. So they're relatively cheap and they protect uh, your AC, pretty expensive. Uh, this one is pretty old, but um, they, you know, a new AC can cost you, if you have to replace a compressor, probably you know, two or three grand, depending on what you have. Um, anyway, uh, this down here is the bus. Uh, that's where you're gonna connect. And actually, you know what? I'm going to open the box. It comes with instructions. Um, and the search suppressor inside which comes in this uh, neat clear box and it gives you the information uh, it's got an LED indicator which tells you um, um, exactly what's happening I actually think is that there um, so but anyway you have you have three cables you have two black ones and the white one and it probably makes sense to some people how this is connected um, the two black ones are these two right here um, this one handles 240 volts 250 is about right um, for some states you know like I said on another video you have to check that it's not super high um, if it's lower it's okay but if it's super high like I don't know maybe 280 whatever you may want to be sure that the surge protector you get is capable of handling that kind of voltage. Uh, that's what I would recommend anyway. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to install this thing. And I, it actually goes on this in this uh, knockout right here. So it's a half inch knockout, which this actually fits perfectly. And I'm going to put it like that. It's got labels on both sides, so you'll be able to see either way whether it's on this side. Or this side see there's another half inch punch out over there which is already used so either way you'll be able to see the label and what it is and what it means 
to see the, the, the LED on or not. Um, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to um, to mount it. It's going to go in these two cables here, which right now um, are disconnected because there's no... I took out the uh, this thing right here, uh, which is just a, a bus wire that goes from one side to the other and it connects the stuff the way it should be. And actually what it does, it, it puts... It connects this side is going to be because uh, it's single phase what it does is that these two get connected and then these two get connected which will mean it's going to go 128 and 128 129 volt into into the compressor um, so now if you were to measure from this one to this one to this outer black one to the uh, outer white which is the only white there you should get 250 volts uh, if you measure from either one of these cables to the bus you're gonna get 128 129 something like that so um, anyways the people that are comfortable I recommend you go ahead and do it this is actually a good investment um, and again like I said in my other video um, the main panel breaker that I installed um, about three or four days ago uh, you call the insurance company and tell them that you have these protectors maybe they'll uh, give you some form of a discount on your insurance policy so you know whether it's 10 bucks 20 bucks or 5 bucks still a discount so it may be more so I really don't know I'm gonna call my insurance company and find out I really don't care if they give me a discount um, I'm just protecting my my uh, my equipment uh, it's pretty expensive so anyways I'm going to install this and then I'm going to show you how I routed the wires um, I'm going to read the instructions real quick I actually think that I have to cut these wires to length I mean it doesn't you don't want to have too much wires I know that on this one I trimmed them down to be about the right length they were not really hanging everywhere so maybe the same for this one but I want to be sure if I don't have to do it then you have to really put these cables tucked in there somehow the right way if not it just um, changes the um, the way this thing operates okay so let me do that let me go ahead and install it and I'll start another video okay thanks a lot guys okay my friends so far uh, this is what I got um, I installed the box um, I actually put um, I put the, the the surge protector in the, in the half inch knockout now mine had or has like two portions okay and an inner and an outer uh, punch out so you have to be careful you punch out enough to actually put the protector and that you don't take um, too much out and then it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a, a, a bigger hole I think it's gonna be a, a three-quarter instead of half so you want to be sure that you do the right one this one here uh, on the other side it's uh, set up for three-quarter uh, pipe which uh, that is so um, you want to be careful that you don't knock out too much this is uh, one half um, uh, half inch okay so uh, just be careful with that now um, I read the instructions real quick and it says to trim the wires um, so what I'm gonna do is that when I do it I'm gonna put just enough wire to reach the bus and to reach the um, the power and uh, after that everything should be okay I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna have any excess uh, wiring here uh, it says that it, uh, um, somehow it affects the performance of the protector so um, in my case this particular one and I just uh, noticed that um, I only noticed type 1 when I bought it which is really how I was gonna do it but I also noticed that you could do a type 2 setup and what that means is that type 1 you go directly um, to the to the bus and you're not really protecting this thing like I did with this one I actually go to a 20 amp uh, circuit breaker in this particular case I would have to get another box um, so you know I didn't really want to start messing around um, with high voltage and changing boxes and you know probably spend another hundred bucks um, so I didn't really have the time to do it so I'm just gonna set up this surge protector as a type 1 which means that it doesn't have a circuit breaker the best thing to do to protect this um, that way the search if, if it's high enough which is 20 amps if it's a, the breaker that you use it will protect this somehow um, or if there's a short circuit somewhere instead of burning the unit you'll trip the breaker uh, which you know 
is probably the best way route and you know the best route but the box needs to be different because I'm putting this on a uh, on a compressor you know most boxes for compressors are a very small box just like this one so you know we'll see what happens I already have that surge protector going to a breaker um, this is actually uh, coming from the inside so there's um, a lot more going on that I don't understand so I'm just installing the search uh, protector this is coming from the inside I actually think it's coming in from from the uh, other panel I have so um, I'm pretty sure it's probably protected anyway um, through a breaker somehow even even if it's either one or two but um, we'll see I mean I'm, it should last me for a while anyway um, uh, but other than that let me continue and uh, trim the wires and put this thing back up as you can see I actually um, uh, took out the middle wires this ones uh, which are the ones that go to the compressor itself so don't be sure that you don't unplug the white one or the or the black one those are the the live ones okay you would actually have to knock out the power to the house if I'm not mistaken to be able to uh, to take those out that way you don't get a nice uh, electrocution um, there so but anyway let me let me take care of this and um, I'll restart the video again okay thanks guys okay you guys last part um, I actually connected this um, got the white to the bus as you can see then I got each black one here uh, going to uh, each respective one going down it doesn't like I said it doesn't matter which one goes where uh, right now he still doesn't have this thing here so it doesn't have any power going to it the LED is like right in the middle of the case in the back so what I'm gonna do I'm just going to put that there and you can see it's lit um, right there um, that means that the unit is working properly so um, other than that what I'm going to do is take this out again don't forget to put your cover um, it goes right in here um, and then you just press and it stays right in place um, I'm going to shoot another video uh, because I'm going to put a 5 to 1 um, compressor saver on uh, this unit this compressor uh, so uh, I'll start on the video in a moment but as far as this one goes this is done um, right now I just left this out because I'm going to do the other video but other than that it will go right in here uh, you just press it in and uh, you're ready to roll if you don't have the uh, the compressor saver so other than that I'm just going to put this up here and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, I'll do another one uh, as soon as I can thanks a lot